elements of the task, now we will teach the patient the uh, whole uh, thing together. So, whenever we want to do transfer, first we start by asking the patient to um, bring the two surfaces together if they are movable, like for example the wheelchair, and we will discuss this separately. So now we will start the practice as we said on two stable surfaces that are very close together. First, the patient will do a push-up and using the head-head relationship uh, will uh, move the buttocks to the front edge of the chair. So a push-up and then move the head back to uh, bring the uh, lower uh, trunk forward. After that, the patient will manually hold their feet and position them uh, on the floor midway between the two surfaces. So we don't want the feet uh, far from the surface we are moving to. So that's why we need to move them to uh, be midway between the two surfaces. After that, we will use the two hands. So the lead hand, which is the one on the surface we are moving to, will be placed further away from the patient so that this space here is where the buttocks will land. Whereas the frail hand uh, will be very close to the buttocks. So this way, um, we don't have it far away and need more strength and um, we have better advantage for the muscles. And we need to remember that when doing the transfer, actually we need more force to be exerted from the trailing arm. And that's why if our patient has asymmetry, one arm stronger than the other, then we usually start the training with the trail arm being the stronger one. But then eventually we need to practice uh, transfer to both directions uh, because um, we don't know the setting in which the patient will perform the transfer. Okay, so we put the lead arm far away, the trail arm very close to the buttocks. So now we have a tripod between the two arms and the trunk. We already positioned the legs. Now we will use the head hip relationship for momentum. So I will move my head and upper trunk down and to the right. And this way, my buttocks will move up and to the left. So it will be like this, okay? Um, and of course, uh, the opposite uh, if we do uh, the other way around. Uh, after we've done this, let's reanalyze the movement and look at its components. So first, we have a preparatory phase in which we prepared all the segments of the body, like we put the feet in the middle and also we put the hands. This is part of the preparatory phase. And also, this movement of the trunk is part of the preparatory phase, forward and backward. Then we have the ascent phase. And the ascent or lift phase is when the buttock is moved from uh, the surface we are on to midway between the two surfaces, okay? This is the uh, des ascent phase. And then the descent phase is when the buttock is landing. So it's the other half of the movement, landing towards the surface uh, we move to. So these are the components that we need to look at. Another thing we need to keep in mind, which is very, very important, is that there is uh, an ascent and there is a descent phase. So we don't want our patient to be dragging their buttock between the two surfaces because this might create friction, which can lead to um, uh, pressure ulcers. And that's why if the patient is at the beginning unable to do it, we can train them using transfer board.